Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Looking at another uh, saw for Rob. This is a vintage XL2. This one's a 1974 model. Looks like a late 74, so this is about two years into the run. You can see they'd already done away with the uh, XL2 that was cast into the case. Those are the ones that are pretty hard to find. This is just painted on. But this is a gorgeous saw. Has not been used much. Wouldn't run, and this yellow jacket that's buzzing me can go straight to hell. Uh, wouldn't, God, get out of my face. Guess it doesn't like two stroke smoke. <sighs> the condenser had gone bad in this one, and that's pretty odd. This doesn't have much run time on it, and it looks, I mean, if you were just looking at it, you'd think it was good. This particular setup was used on a lot of saws. I know a couple of the little steels used it, some of the Poulins. God knows what else. They're a felon setup, and the points and condenser are all part of the same assembly. So even though there's a part number on the condenser, it's soldered on here. I've never gone looking all that terribly hard. I suppose a guy could. If you could locate a new condenser, you could solder it on here and, and be good to go. But typically, the way Homelite and those other companies I mentioned sold it, they replaced it as an assembly. So, that's what it took. Brought some spark back to it, and it runs pretty good. I'll go ahead and fire it up here. Running perfect. So it needed a few other little things like they most always do. Duckbill valves, hoses. Uh, these hoses were deceiving. It was almost enough to trick me into saying, ah, oh, no, they're fine. But I always get in there and give them a little stretch test. And the oil hoses, when you know, they went, eep, poof. So they would have lasted a little while. The last thing I want is for Rob to go out and try and cut with this and have it rattle the hose in half. That'd just be stupid. So... Hoses, duckbill, air filter, and just standard maintenance stuff. So I'll let it sit for a couple days, do a restart, and then Rob, I think this one will be ready to come back to you.